Pixel Gun 3, the new update 21.3 brought us a brand new trader's van in Pixel Gun 3D. Look at how awesome this guy is. He's part of the Chosen by the Crystal set. And the Chosen by the Crystal set has this awesome new skin. The Ritual Rifle, an absolutely insane primary mythical weapon that has automatic ricocheting, slowing down the targets. The brand new backup weapon, the Tooth of Fate, which looks just as cool as the primary. It has single shot, super punch, and area damage. And then the Staff of Crystal's Will, which look at the top of my screen. That's my hand. <laughs> it's, it's glitched out. Bro, wh where, why is my hands there? This is so confusing. But this thing has Electro Thrower, Life Steal, and Weakening, and it's a really, really cool weapon. I just bought all of these weapons. I have the primary, the backup, and the special weapons. And hey, guys, if you would like me to continue on doing videos of this update, make sure to leave a like and subscribe right now. If we get a ton of support on this video, I will review the Battle Pass, the mining season, when it comes out in three days, as well as even buying some of the weapons from this lottery, including the Bonasaur Sword, the Aerosaur Rifle, and the Heavy Spikasaur. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see that. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into this. All right, guys, so I'm very excited. We are going to jump into Sky Islands now and test out the primary. Hey, buddy, you want to be my first person I ever killed with this thing? <laughs> yes, he does. He doesn't even realize that I was right behind him. I feel pretty bad. All right, first impressions, guys. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, uh, this is pretty good. This is actually better than I was expecting. Um, it's, it looks really cool. Oh, my God. 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 Please, 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 please. I want to get more kills. I want to get more kills. Give me, like, a monster kill at the very beginning. Multi-Ultra! I'm out of ammo. Oh, no. Uh-oh. This is not good. I'm almost dead and out of ammo. Thank the Lord there is ammo right there. Dude, I don't normally get ultra kills the second I test something out for the very first time. Normally, I suck. But, like, this is really good. Oh, my God. I like this thing a lot. This is a very solid primary gun. And, like, I can't even really test out the ricocheting that much in Sky Islands. Like... I'm really just using this more of like a standard primary weapon. Can you imagine going into a map like, I don't even know, Warehouse Assault or something like that, where there's a lot of enclosed spaces, and you use the ricocheting? Oh my, this is going to be a very fun gun. <laughs> there's a guy in the chat. He's like, please don't kill. Is that him? Oh, I'm killing you, buddy. Stop moving. Yeah. <laughs> he thought, he thought I was going to be nice, but no. I am ruthless. This is a shooting game, and everybody's going to die. Bang. Just like that guy's username. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so this is a very solid gun. I do have to say it does run out of ammo pretty fast. So it's one of those guns you have to be very careful. You don't run out of ammo too quick. You can't just hold down the firing button a ton because you're going to run out of ammo very, very fast. This is no glitched machine gun with infinite ammo, okay? All right? Be very, very careful about that. Also, it doesn't have a scope. So if you go into super long-range maps, it's not going to really do too well, okay? So if you go into, like, something like D-Day, okay, or Heaven Garden, yikes. It's probably going to be very hard. I think Sky Islands is a great map for this weapon. Look at this. I mean, I'm doing pretty good, considering this is my very first time trying this thing out. Nice headshots. Very, very satisfying. And you are... What was he doing? He was, like, making me stuck in, like, a marshmallow. I couldn't move. What the heck, doctor? Doctor! Doctor! I have a pain in my left elbow. Please, can you please diagnose it? That would be really nice. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, overall, guys, for just one match trying this thing out before we move on to the backup weapon, I'm very happy with this. Solid gun. I'd say it's worth the gems. Okay? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You just run out of ammo pretty fast. Uh, with 10 seconds remaining, I have over 1,000 points. And can I get one more? Screw it. I'm going to take out my digital sunrise. One more kill. Yes! Oh, you gotta leave a like on the video for that one. One more? No! Oh, he died. All right. Well, there we go. How many kills did we get? A grand total of 19. That's not that bad. That's a very solid primary gun. Hey, guys. All right. So we're back, and we're now going to be testing out the backup. Let's go test this thing out. I forgot what this thing is called. I think it's like the Tooth of... Like, fate or something? What the heck is this thing? What the heck? 
Oh my. This thing does not look like it has area damage. Oh, oh, he was chatting. I feel so bad. Okay, so we know it's a three-shot kill. If you get headshots, does it give you headshots? Or does it only give just a kill? That's it. I don't even know if this thing can get headshots. We should probably test it out. Oh, God, somebody almost burnt, killed me. All right, it looks like it... Uh, I don't think it gives headshots. And it looks like it's a three-shot kill. Okay, all right. Um, immediate first impressions for this thing... Oh, no, you can get headshots. Okay, all right. You can get headshots, but it still looks like it's literally a three-shot headshot. Really? I mean, it's not very fast at shooting. That's, uh... I don't know how I feel about this thing, guys. I honestly don't actually think this is as good as the primary. It's actually... It's kind of difficult to use, and I am struggling. I am struggling. I feel like if you were to use this thing in close-range maps like this... You're going to have a really tough time winning. Like, I would be amazed if I actually win this match. <laughs> if I win this match, you guys have to subscribe to my channel, okay? All right, that's that's the challenge, okay? And you can unsubscribe if I don't win, okay? <laughs> Please don't actually unsubscribe. That's, that's actually, that would be really, really mean. Don't do it, okay? Because <laughs> I'm probably not going to win, but whatever. You never really know. Let's see if we can actually do it. I'm at an ultra kill right now. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Um... Asgard actually seems like a pretty decent map for this thing. You really just have to hope that a lot of people don't have, you know, ridiculously powerful one-shot area damage things and other stuff like that. Because if they're going to be using something like, I don't know, the Easter Bazooka, dude, a good luck. Because you're probably not going to kill them. Because you need to get three headshots in order to actually kill the person. Like, okay, he had the Necklace of the Ice King. How am I supposed to compete against that? I can't. <laughs> so, all right. Um, it looks like it has area damage, but it doesn't really seem like it has area damage. I think this thing is supposed to have area damage, but it doesn't. Like, I literally am shooting so close to people, and, like, I have to hit them directly on their player to get a kill. Like, it's not doing any area damage, so I don't, I'm not sure. Pixel Gun 3D, I don't know if you're watching this video, but you might have messed things up. I don't think you gave this thing area damage, because I'm, uh... I'm a bit confused. That's all I've got to say here. But we have 730 points right now, and there's 48 seconds remaining. Dude, I want to try to get 1,000. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. But if we have people like Soul Eater right there, it's going to be easy. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> Please, give me more kills. I just want to get 1,000. That's all I want. Yes. 940. No. Oh, my God. It's so close. Dude, please give me 1,000. 975. I'm so close. Oh my god, one more. That's all I need. PG3D smile. Oh my god, my voice is cracking and everything. This is what happens when you've commentated for multiple videos on end. Dude, where are the people? Hello? Guys? Hello? Hello? So, Eta? How are you doing, mate? Um, yes! I got a thousand and five at the last second. Woo! Okay, all right. Well, this backup weapon is, is interesting. That's my final words I'm going to say. I actually won... So that means you have to subscribe. That was pretty fun. All right, guys. So here we are now in War of Toys. There's a decent amount of people here, and we're going to be testing out the special weapon. Okay. All right. First impression. It's like a flamethrower type thing. Okay. The Staff of Crystal's Will is what this thing is called. And... Huh. It's, it's kind of weird. It's like, it's like a flamethrower, but it looks like it goes farther than a flamethrower. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure this thing out. <laughs> Invisible kill. Kill that guy real quick. Oh, it takes a long time, doesn't it? It seems like this thing takes longer to kill than some of the other flamethrowers in this game. Huh. Hmm. I want to know what you guys think. I do have to say, this thing has amazing ammo. Like, look at how much ammo. You have 180 little individual bits of fire, I guess, that shoots out of this thing. I don't even know if it's fire. What is this thing? Shoot. Is it like magic? Let's just call it magic, okay? If magic was a noun, uh, if not if magic was a noun, if magic was like a was like a physical thing, you know what? You know what? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, I have to say I'm not disappointed with this thing. It's it's pretty similar though to a lot of the other flamethrowers in Pixel Gun 3D, from what I can see. Like I'm trying to think of some of the other flamethrowers that I've used in the past in this game, like. The block flamethrower or or the pet dragon or or you know 
some of the other stuff like that. It's much better than something like the Mystical Aura Emitter. But it's probably not the best. And I feel like you would have a difficult time, again, in close range. Because, you know, a lot of other people are going to have a one-shot kill area damage weapon. And, dude, you can't compete against that. Like, you have to actually be very accurate. Land your shots. And look at how long sometimes it takes to kill people. Yeah. Um, it's fun. It's pretty powerful. It's a neat thing to use. It's different, right? Flamethrowers are always fun. But, honestly, if you're trying to save your gems and not spend too much, I don't see where this thing is going to come in handy too well. Like, out of all three weapons that I've used so far, I really can only say the primary weapon can actually be very useful. Okay, so if you have 500 gems right now and you can only afford to buy one, right now, I'm saying the primary weapon. In just a bit, in a minute or so, I'm going to go into a match, actually in the new map, and I'm going to test out all three together and see how well they do together, all three of them. But, like, as of right now, this special weapon is, uh, it's a pretty mediocre, um, you know, little flamethrower thing, and there's nothing that special about it, in my honest opinion, you know? It says it has lifesteal, I remember, but, like, you know, it barely steals anything. It's not really enough to really mean that much to you because, you know, honestly, people, if they have a one-shot kill area damage and you're going up against them with this thing and everybody else has a one-shot kill weapon, lifesteal really doesn't matter, does it? Because you're stealing life for people to still one-shot kill you anyways, all right? So it's not, it doesn't really matter too much. It's kind of like a pointless ability. The only things that really would be useful with lifesteal would be like a primary weapon at long range where like, you know, you survive longer than three seconds. But overall, how many kills did I get? Let's go test it out. Finish the match. I didn't win, but I got a grand total of 17 kills. Not that bad. All right, guys. Hey, so here we are. We're jumping into Lost World now, and I am going to be using all three weapons together. Um, I wanted to just test these things out together as one whole set. Come on, Caesar! Caesar! He likes Caesar salad. Very good. And there he is again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, 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 please. Let's go! Okay, alright. I, I got killed, but whatever. Um, I really wanted to test all three of these weapons out together just because I want to see, you know, if, like, together they do pretty good. Because there are some times where, like, you get a set and individually they're not that great, but, like, when they come together, they're actually pretty good. And I feel like this map is one of the better maps in Pixel Gun 3D, at least in team fights. I would love this thing if it came to deathmatch. It would be so much fun, and I would go into this map so much if it was in deathmatch. But, like, even though it's a team match, it's so chaotic. Like, look at this. I love this. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I'm already at a mo an ultra kill. Can I get a monster? Give me a monster kill. Give me a monster kill. Yes, there we go. Monster kill. Like, it's so chaotic, it feels like a free-for-all match. Like, I'm not even joking. It is it is a lot of fun, and I like this thing a lot. Please. Yes, 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 yes. It looks like, though, that these these weapons do do pretty well in this map. Um, maybe with a possible exception of the backup, it's still pretty hard to use. I just don't like the backup one at all. Like, I'm really trying to use it in this video, but, like, please, for the love of God, don't waste your gems on the backup one. It's so cool looking, but it's, like, it's just not that great at all. The primary is good, as you can see. I'm literally at a fury kill. <laughs> this is one of the first times I'm ever testing these weapons out. I'm already at a fury kill. Wow. Okay. But yeah, maybe the special. The special is debatable, right? If you're liking my gameplay that I'm getting right now with this special weapon, maybe you can consider getting it. But like, you know, the primary weapon is probably more the way to go if you're just wanting to get one of the weapons. If you're, you know, going based off of what I have to say. Hello. Yeah, there you go. There's the thing at long range. Kind of hard to use at super long range. So just keep that in mind. As I said, you really want to use this thing in medium range. Right about where that guy was standing. That's about the perfect spot to use the primary weapon. Too close, and it kind of sucks, right? Too far away, and you're very inaccurate, okay? But, like, you know, the backup weapon, there's really n not a lot of great scenarios where you could use this thing. People move too quickly in Pixel Gun 3D where it's just hard. And the special weapon, eh, as you can see, I tried, but I couldn't even get that guy. No! I was talking and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, man. 
dude, I had such a good kill streak. Well, leave it to me to have an amazing, like, 15 kill kill streak and then, like, <laughs> just die because of myself being stupid. Can I get a rip in the comment sections? Or an F, actually? Just get everybody spam the letter F in the comment section because of my stupidity. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it's whatever. 30 seconds remaining in this match. I'm feeling very comfortable. I think I'm going to have the most amount of kills out of everybody in this entire match. And, uh, well... That's with me using just this set this entire time. In a pretty average map in Pixel Gun 3D where you don't have too many pro players, this overall set will do pretty well. And if I were to rate each of the weapons between 1 and 10, primary weapon's probably an 8. The backup weapon is like a 5. And the special weapon's maybe like a 6.5 or something like that. So there you go. There's my rating. And there's the victory. Very, very nice. How many kills did I get that time? Got a grand total of 21. Hey, guys. So uh, I decided to, just as I'm doing this little outro here, um, I I'd just probably play a little bit more here in Lost World. I would love if you guys could comment down below your opinions of each of these weapons. First off, I want you to comment what you thought about what they look like. Because, like, I think they all look awesome. Like, even the backup weapon, they all look so cool. They're some of the coolest looking weapons in Pixel Gun. And this is too chaotic. I don't understand what's going on. Please. No, I just wanted the shield. Dang it. Too much chaos. Too much stuff is going on. Stop it. Stop it. We are a little trolling. We do a little trolling. Yeah, well, I'm going to troll your life. Haha. <laughs> all right, but yeah. <laughs> this guy, High, is, like, in all of my servers. Is he in my clan? I think he must be in my clan or my friends list. I don't actually know who he is. God, that's a little bit awkward. But yeah, um, I uh, overall, I think they look fantastic. But if you honestly were to choose one of the three, get the primary weapon. All right. Don't get the backup weapon. And the special weapon is debatable. All right. You could be perfectly fine if you don't get the special weapon. But uh, yeah, I love the primary. It's a very solid gun and it's a nice change. From a lot of the other, you know, primary weapons that a lot of people use all the time. Like, that guy was just using the ultimatum. Alright? And the ultimatum is too overused. Everybody uses it. You gotta use something fun and different. And this primary weapon is the way to go. But yeah, we're already at like 18 minutes. Um, it's been a long time. So, I'm gonna end the video here. Guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel down below. Because, as I said, if we get a ton of support on this video... I will get the battle pass and then review it. I may even get that special one that you have to complete challenges for. And I may even do the lottery. Spend a bunch of money and get the lottery weapons. If you guys leave a lot of support on this video, then it lets me know you want me to do those types of videos. And I can definitely do them in just a couple of days. Thank you so much for watching though, guys. And I will see you all later.